wondering, how does energy flow through an ecosystem? Good question. One way to explain it is through a pyramid. Not that kind of pyramid. This shows the energy flow through an ecosystem. Energy flows from the bottom up through what are known as trophic levels. It actually all starts with a ray of sunshine. So let's take a look at the first trophic level where the energy is captured. Plants, algae and cyanobacteria are called primary producers. They make or produce their own food through a process called photosynthesis. Light energy is captured from the sun and is used to convert carbon dioxide and water into oxygen and glucose. This provides the producer with energy to help it grow. Cool, but then how do animals get their energy? So let's take a look at the next three trophic levels which are occupied by consumers. These are animals which unlike producers get their energy through eating or consuming energy rich food. The first level of consumers are primary consumers like the cicada here that eat only primary producers. At the next trophic level are secondary consumers such as this quoll which eat primary consumers and sometimes producers as well. A tertiary consumer like our wedge-tailed eagle can eat secondary consumers as well as the organisms on the other trophic levels depending on their diet. But in reality it's a lot messier than that. Multiple food chains combine to make a food web. Wow that's so intricate. So what happens if the ecosystem is disrupted? If a species is removed or reduced or an invasive species is added, it can put the ecosystem out of balance. Energy flow can be disrupted rather like a break in a chain of dominoes. Oh no, how can we fix this? Humans can help, like reintroducing affected species, creating habitat to rebuild the ecosystem, and keeping invasive species out to let the energy flow again. Even our back gardens can become amazing habitats for organisms of all trophic levels. Fascinating. I guess I'm a consumer.